Flanked by Russian, Rwandan and UN guards, President Foster Akonj Twadira held his closing campaign rally in Bangui on Friday. On Saturday, the Constitutional Court dismissed an application by opposition candidates to postpone the vote citing security concerns. You Central Africans, be vigilant. Let's join hands with our soldiers, join hands with MINUSCA, and join hands with other countries, the Russian Federation, Rwanda, and all those who help to strengthen our security. What I am telling you is, all the fighting being done inside our country to come to the capital, we must oppose it. We must say no. So that on Sunday, the 27th, get up, do not be afraid, go choose the one you want. Choose your president to prevent them from reaching their goal. On Friday, the UN mission in the country said three Burundian peacekeepers were killed by armed combatants in the central and southern regions. Opposition candidate Anise Dologele has doubted the Electoral Commission's ability to hold a credible vote amid the escalating violence. Malgré les affirmations, Despite the claims here and there, I don't think it is possible for the National Election Authority to deploy all the material to the 5,400 polling stations. We will end up with a completely flawed organization. An organization was a problem already. Now when you add the security concerns and the fact that in every city there are armed groups preventing the process, I think it is wiser to consider postponing the exercise. If there is a vote on Sunday, they must vote massively to drive out Twadera. And so I'll set an example. On Friday, a rebel movement calling itself Patriots for Change announced it was resuming hostilities after calling off a unilateral ceasefire.